Our veterans have given us, well, everything. So what would you give? What Would You Give actually provides grassroots support for disabled and homeless veterans by helping them achieve after military life goals. Led by Vets for Vets, What Would You Give provides a safe haven for veterans and their families as they assimilate back into life stateside. And United States veteran and founder Shane D'Onofrio, volunteer Donna Swenson, and veteran Enya Anderson join us with more details. Good morning, all of you. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Thank you for having we're, us. We're excited. Well, it's exciting. <laughs> Let's first talk to you, Shane, because first of all, I want to thank you for your service, thank of course, you. obviously. But where were you stationed? Um, I was in the Navy, so I was on two different uh, ships. One was the USS Esteem and one the USS Nimitz. So wow. I was kind of more of the guy in the rear with the gear. The rear um, with the gear. I like <laughs> so, that. Um, I, I wasn't one of these guys that, that we we help a lot. Um, the, the Army and the, the Marines that are out there uh -huh. actually dodging the bullets. Wow. So I was kind of in the back. That, hey, listen, you did what you did. It doesn't make it any less significant or important, and we appreciate that. And what about Enya? Yes, uh, I was in the Marine Corps. I was in Recon, First Force Reconnaissance Company. Wow. And uh, was at the tip, tip of the spear. <laughs> so. Wow. Well, congratulations for all the work that you've done. And I really want to talk right now about what led you to establish What Would You Give? Because this is really creating some wonderful things. Well, in this state here, uh, New Mexico, we have... Um, over 3,000 disabled American veterans living on the streets right. here in New Mexico. And, and that, that's the closest guesstimate we could come up with with the numbers that we have. Mm -hmm. um, and, and that's sad. That's 3,000 of our guys. These right. are the men and women that give us our freedoms. No doubt. And I say that because, yes, the Constitution gives us our freedoms, but it's the men and women that believe in it, that stand right. up, and, and they take, they take, take care of us. Okay. So when they're coming back, they don't have everything that they need. That's right. Um, they don't have homes, so we have a program that helps we get them homes. Mm -hmm. um, we actually have uh, men li uh, like Enya and a group of guys that are actually living out in one of our facilities. We have wow. a second facility in Albuquerque okay. where we have uh, a family and two different veterans that have gone through our program. Um, we do everything from food boxes to hygiene kits to a lot of fun stuff and that's mm -hmm. kind of what we're here to talk about today. We, we, we do everything from uh, our vet job finder. Yes. Um, we help them with uh, education, going, getting their benefits. We well, and you, you said you're pre-med right now, right? Yes, ma'am. Congratulations on that. <laughs> Not so bad. <laughs> well, you know, and you said big event. So let's get right to that event because okay. right now you're giving vets the right of their lives. That's happening tomorrow, this Saturday. Tomorrow, absolutely. So what's it all about? Well, um, about a year ago, uh, a gentleman named Frank contacted me from RZR Net Forums. Okay. And he said, we want to donate you a... Um, uh, a razor and I was like well what's a razor you know we have razors we put them in our little kits and he's like no um, it, it, it's a, a four-wheeler so oh what we're doing is we're taking guys out into the Rio Porco and several other places to give them a ride this is it's been phenomenal we got King Ranch um, Chavez Ranch to give us permission to go out there and take these guys for a ride and wow. we also have individuals from Albuquerque and surrounding areas. We have a couple guys coming from Colorado that want to come down here and put our veterans in, in one of these and take them out for a ride. Oh, now, it wow. doesn't cost a veteran anything, and we want as many veterans out there as we possibly can get. Oh, that's so cool. Don, is that you driving that? It really is? Yeah. That is me. We let her drive it. <laughs> that yeah. was my first time. I thought so. Well, that's your pink helmet, right? That is. Got to wear those pink helmets. Helmet. Yeah. Well, how can viewers get involved on a volunteer basis in general? Well, what they want to do is they want to give us a call at 217-2230. Uh -huh. Okay. They can also like us on Facebook, and it's what would you with the letter, the letter U. You, mm -hmm. you can do either of, one. And okay. what would you give? And you also can look us up online at www.ug.org. Okay. And they can get involved there. They can also email us at Shane at what would you give. And uh, mm -hmm. we are looking for veterans to get signed up today and to get them get those rides full. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be a full day event. Well, and I also want to ask you why is it so important that donations are made directly to the WWUG? Okay, so all of our funds stay here in New Mexico. We're so not one that. of these large organizations that come in raises four or five hundred thousand nice. dollars a year, and they take all those funds out of the state. Mm -hmm. So we have veterans here. We have wounded warriors here That's in right. New Mexico that need help. So why send all the money out of state? Why not take care of the local companies that are, that are putting everything into it Love that. here locally? And we make sure all of our funds go to our veterans. That makes me feel so good. I know so many viewers appreciate that. And before you go, the holidays, of course, are coming up. I don't know how that happened already, but they are. <laughs> so let's talk about some of the items that you brought along that people can purchase to support the program. 
Well, in the video, you actually saw some of the um, the items which are keychains. We have okay. service tabs. We have the swing art um, that we also brought pictures of. Okay. And then also the lockers. Um, the lockers are really cool. They're pink. Right now, of course, it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes, yes. So we're pushing pink. Um, and we are just looking for people to, again, support the veterans. Everything's made by veterans, That's and great. it's important to keep that money local. Thank you so much. And Dr. Anderson, yes, to me, thank you for your service. Thank you thank for yours you. as well, and thank, thank you for you what much. you're doing for the community. I appreciate it very thank much. You. Thank you. And you can skip the national chains and go local at Cafe Bella Coffee. That's what's brewing next on New Mexico Style.